Japan's nuclear nightmare is never-ending. It's been eight months since a catastrophic earthquake and series of tsunamis crippled the Fukushima nuclear plant. The rubble and splintered buildings remain, and so does the anxiety over Japan's dependence on nuclear power. The area around the plant is still contaminated. Tens of thousands of residents have been unable to return home. But for the first time since the disaster, a group of journalists has been allowed inside the complex. After months of criticism over its response to the crisis, the Japanese government says the plant will be in cold shutdown by the end of the year. But that won't be the end of it. Thousands of workers are still on site. Some have been there since it first went into meltdown. Some lost their homes and families to the tsunami. No workers have died from radiation exposure, but in Japan, many view them as heroes, sacrificing their own health for the nation. Some believe allowing journalists in was an unnecessary risk. The minister himself, who accompanied these journalists, has said during that visit that at Chernobyl, 25 years later, they still have radiation there, they still cannot occupy the area. And he said, so I understand, to those journalists pointing towards Fukushima, that they still don't know where the nuclear fuel is. It's melted down and run into the system they can't account for. It. But this is all part of a concerted effort by the Japanese government to allay the public's anger over the way it's handled the nuclear disaster. Last month, an official drank this glass of water on live television. It came from the Fukushima reactor buildings. He said it was decontaminated and safe to drink. It was an eye-catching stunt, but probably not enough to reassure a fearful Japanese public about living with nuclear power. Holly Williams, Sky News, Beijing.